I have to set the record straight before I move forward. What has changed my life uh, drastically in the last two days, and it's all about a documentary I saw on Netflix. Uh, it has to do with commercial fishing and the deadly impact it's having on us as a society, having on mankind as a whole. I have no moral high ground in this area. I, for over 16 years, was enthusiastically supporting criminal organizations with my drug habit and human trafficking and sex workers. You name it, I was involved in it. So I don't come here trying to be this saint because I'm not. I'm just using my common sense, looking at the facts and the experience I have in my own life of being in love with the ocean and actually being in it and seeing a drastic change from when I was a kid. You know, I'm just gonna spit it all out there and I'm gonna be wrong with some of the stuff I say and I'm okay with that. This documentary has shaken me to the core. I'm not exaggerating. I have never been so depressed in my life and I have dealt with serious legal issues where I was facing 22 years in prison and the feeling I've been having over the last two days after knowing the truth of what is going on. I'm not saying you need to stop eating fish. I'm not saying that fishing is bad. Quite the opposite. I am a lobster hunter. I fucking love hunting lobster, which means I kill the lobster, but I'm not raping the ocean and dragging and raking everything off the bottom of the ocean that I can with massive nets that's ruining the ecosystem of the ocean, which is how we survive as human beings. By uh, extra continued extraction of fish out of our oceans, you're essentially deforesting our oceans by not only removing the fish, but the act of removal, the methods of removal are, are devastating to habitat and ecosystems. And it's even more so there because it's, it's out of sight, out of mind. Trawling was by far the most destructive form of fishing. The largest trawlers are so big they could swallow whole cathedrals or up to 13 jumbo jet planes. The nets drag heavy weights to the bottom, scarring the sea floor that were once abundant with life, leaving nothing but a barren wasteland behind. This was just like bulldozing pristine Amazonian rainforest, except it was much, much worse. Every year, approximately 25 million acres of forest are lost. This was equivalent to losing about 27 soccer fields per minute. However, bottom trawling wipes out an estimated 3.9 billion acres every year. This was equivalent to losing 4,316 soccer fields every single minute. Tallying up across the year, this was equivalent to wiping out the land area of Greenland, Norway, Sweden, Finland, Denmark, the UK, Germany, France, Spain, Portugal, Italy, Turkey, Iran, Thailand, and Australia combined. I'm talking about deception intentionally done to us as a society, making animal rights activist groups that are shining light on certain aspects of commercial fishing and overfishing and everything involved with the destruction of this ecosystem that is necessary for anyone that breathes air to have whether you like the ocean or not it doesn't matter it's common sense it's science okay and if we don't do something and shine the light on what's truly going on that we're allowing and participating in because we feel like it's okay, it's sustainable, it's, it's a lie. It's a complete lie. And we're not going to have life to fight for if we don't first fight for that. Where are the big environment groups? Why aren't they all over this like a rash? It's so obvious, it's just shouting in our faces. It is a fishing industry that is destroying the fish and the rest of the life of the seas. How much more obvious does it need to be? And yet, for the most part, they are silent. They're not speaking out against it. They are deliberately 
not engaging with the most important issue of all. The sooner you realize this, the better off you'll be. The mass majority of rich people do not give a fuck about you or me or the ocean. So if they are the ones conducting this massive deception, providing one outlet for the bitching people like myself right now to feel like they're contributing to, to make a difference, then they will throw the money at it so the little bitching mouths have something to feed and make the cover up even more so. There's no sustainability in this type of fishing that I'm talking about. I live in Mexico in a fishing village. My neighbors are fishermen. I'm not talking about them. There's this image of the fishing industry which is deeply implanted in our minds from childhood. It's a little red boat chugging across a sparkling sea with Captain Birdseye at the wheel with his white beard and his twinkly blue eyes and his fisherman's cap. And of course, what it really is is a death machine. This is a highly effective technological machine. They've got these massively powerful boats, huge fishing ships whose purpose is to mop up the animals which are at the basis of the whole marine food chain, the fish. Another aspect of the pollution in the ocean and plastic and all this and the straws and fucking that, it's uh, commercialized fishing that makes up a majority of that pollution. Well, I'll tell you why. Because the plastic coalition organizations protecting the seas are funded by the commercial fishing industry. So watch the documentary to hear the full story. Experts in this documentary have uh, stated that we are destroying the seas at a rapid rate and the perspective of the director of this film says massive animal poaching like the world has never seen, killing up to 2.7 trillion fish per year is up to 5 million fish killed per minute. One of the leading researchers of fisheries and sustainability said if current fishing trends remain the same, we will see virtually lifeless oceans by the year 2048. I don't know about you, but I'm planning to still be alive in 2048. It doesn't matter if you don't love the ocean or you hate fish or love fish. This is not an animal rights preach. This is a human existence preach. I always equate it to this being a spaceship. The Earth is a spaceship. It's on a trip around the galaxy. It takes 250 million years just to make one orbit. And uh, but every spaceship has a life support system. It provides us with the food we eat, the air we breathe, and regulates the climate, the temperatures. That life support system is run by a crew of Earthlings. And there's only so many crew members you can kill before the machinery begins to break down. They run out of engineers. And that's what's happening. We're killing off the crew. The director of this movie found that one of the most important organisms in the ocean is actually the marine plants because they hold on to over 20% more carbon than in forests. And 93% of all carbon is in our world's oceans. Are you willing to not have a future, a life, and loved ones because you want to buy into uh, dolphin safe tuna that someone has set up this great system that allows them to fucking net the oceans and 
Oh, somehow the dolphins just slipped through the nets because there's dolphin-shaped holes and not fish. It's, you guys, it's ridiculous. Over 300,000 whales and dolphins are killed every single year as bycatch of industrial fishing. What about sustainable whales, things like dolphin safety? For those of us who spend as much time at sea as I do, uh, we realize that labels often obscure what's really happening at sea. We caught tuna fishing vessels who had slaughtered 45 dolphins to catch eight tunas. And that fishing vessel was working for dolphin safe time tuna. I had learned some shocking things so far. This was just unbelievable. I couldn't verify these numbers online, and I was skeptical to Sea Shepherd's claim against the organization. To find out for sure, I decided to meet with the organization behind the label, the Earth Island Institute. What's the maximum number of dolphins that can be killed in a net before the tuna is no longer dolphin safe? Make sure to go to Netflix and watch Suspiriski to hear the answer to that simple question. For the last six years, I have been focusing solely on learning how to be a motivational speaker and tell my story so I can help others out. Well, that's taken a huge back seat and I can't even think about anything about myself right now because without putting every amount of energy I have into what really matters, which is the commercialized fishing, rapage and pillaging of our oceans, there will be no one to help self-motivate. There will be no one to help because we will all be dead. And it will be because of the greed and the deception of a very small group of people who run and bribe the world's leaders in order to continue profiting off of the destruction of a natural resource that is depleting. We need to do something about it. It's appalling to me that this documentary has been out for three weeks now and it's not front page headline all you can hear about news if we as a population were able to bring the world to a halt in one day because of covid we can do that to bring the commercial fishing industry that is being the destructive force behind our existence we can bring that shit to a halt too if we can fucking be up in arms and it could be on Good Morning America about fucking a football game that the football was not filled up the right pressure, fucking serious? You guys, this is more important than COVID. This is more important than slavery. This is more important than gay rights, the Holocaust, you name it. This is more important than anything because without directly confronting the truth of what's going on right now, there will be no life for any of those issues I mentioned to even have an impact on. And let's make this the fucking front page headline news. Kim Kardashian, get on this shit. Kanye West, fucking you name it. Leonardo DiCaprio, where the fuck are you guys? This is what matters. Please, guys. I really want to get back to what fucking I have been working towards, which is helping people get over self-disabling beliefs, drug addiction, and mental illness. This is serious. And you need to not allow people with money to give you the answers. Because money creates deception. People have and people have not, and so they do whatever the people who have say. Please fucking watch this. And this fucking needs to be like the only thing people talk about. Because without it, we have nothing. I fucking love you guys. I really do, and that's why I'm doing this.